time for an echoey video. Woo! There isn't very much furniture in here. There's piles of wood, and there's couches, and there's a few boxes. That's why it's echoey. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, because I don't mind, so we're just going to have an echoey video here. I have decided to do a book to movie adaptation opinion video <laughs> about Divergent. So I saw Divergent uh, once so far. I, I will be seeing it again. I feel like when you watch a movie based on a book, especially a book that you really, really, really love, you need to see it twice because the first time you watch it, you're just critiquing it and comparing it to the book and saying, oh, that's wrong and this is wrong and they didn't do it like that and this isn't in the book and they left this scene out and they didn't do that very well. And you're usually angry at a lot of things. And then the second time you see it, you already know the things that are going to be different and you know the things that you aren't going to like and you can just sit and watch it without comparing it to the book and just enjoy it as a movie. And um, I know that happened to me with The Host. I didn't really like it the first time I saw it. I was really mad about all the stuff I took out. But then I went to see it again and I was like, wow, that was actually a really good movie. Because you've already got that stuff out of your head and you can just watch it as a movie without comparing it to the book. So, this is my video after I've only seen it once. So I haven't watched it my second time to just enjoy it. I'm gonna say, uh, if anyone saw my trailer reaction, you would know that I wasn't that looking forward to the movie. I really didn't think it was going to be that good. I didn't have faith in it at all. And even I remember the first time I read the book, like two years ago or whenever it was, the first thing I said was they better not turn this into a movie. Because I knew that they were going to have to take out so much stuff and I loved every single second of that book. I just, I loved it to bits, I loved every single scene, every single word, and I knew they were going to have to take like half of it out, and it was not going to live up to the book at all, and it was like my fear as soon as I finished that book, I was like, this cannot be a movie. But they did a good job. They really did. It was a good movie. It was, it was adventurous, it was exciting, it was action-packed, the characters and the actors were really good, and the music wasn't cheesy, I didn't think, it was, I thought it was really well done, the sets were really cool. And again, people who saw my trailer reaction would know that I did not like Theo James as four. <laughs> and I, st I still, I would have preferred someone else to play four. He's not my four, he's not the way I pictured him, but he did do a good job. And there were a few scenes where I was like, ah, four, and such. And I'm not as disappointed in him as I thought I would be. And it's really, it's just a personal thing. There's nothing wrong with Theo James. He did a great job. He's just not the way I pictured him. So it just made it a little difficult for me to enjoy that part of it. But for all the people who did like him, that's great. I'm glad because that just makes it even more awesome for you. Okay, so let's talk about, first of all, um, the things that bug me about it. And then we'll talk about the things that I really liked about it so that we can end on a really happy note. So the two main things that bugged me and made me super, super angry were the knife throwing scene and Forest Fear Landscape. They ripped the emotion right out of those scenes. They just ripped it out. The knife throwing scene in the book was like, uh, so Triss was getting all pissed off at Four because of the things that he was saying to her and she kept thinking that he was just trying to make her angry and make her feel like she was being a coward and stuff when you find out later that he was actually saying these things because he thought it would help her through it like I was saying these things because I realized that you're, the, you're bravest when you're being selfless and I was trying to remind you and it was just there was so much more emotion in that scene and in the movie it was just like throwing a knife, throwing a knife, throwing a knife, nip your ear, scene over <laughs> And it wasn't, it didn't have the same impact as it did in the book. At all. Not even close. Mm -mm. Four's fear landscape? Oh my god! Seriously? Seriously. I'm not the only one who's mad about this, right? Like, they just ruined, ruined that scene. Just completely tore to pieces. Oh my god! Like, ugh! <laughs> in the book, that is when you really get to see Four's vulnerable side. You get to see him afraid, and you get to see him freak out about things, and you're like, oh my gosh, Four is actually a real person. He's not just this training guy who's like a hard ass and tough as nails. He is actually a person who cares about things and is afraid of things. And in the book, obviously, they had to let everything just happen so that you could become not afraid of it, and in the movie they were like, you have to make it stop, which that's stupid. 
It means you're even more scared to me because you're trying to make it stop instead of being like, I'm brave and I can deal with this. But in the in the book, it was so intimate. Like when they were in the box and whenever he was like, when when Tris was like, can you can you feel my heart? And he said, yeah, it's fast. And she's like, damn it. And she's like, well, that's not from the box. And then whenever they don't want to talk about it anymore, she's trying to ask him about like why he thinks he has this fear and it's making him even more scared. And he's like, this is difficult for people who are claustrophobic, Tris. And, she, and uh, she's like, okay, fine, then let's talk about something else. And he's like, okay, why is your heart racing, Tris? And it was just like, ah, oh. seriously, that was, that was my favorite scene. Favorite scene in the book. And it was just completely destroyed in the movie. Just completely, not even, just they just, I feel like they were like, ooh, let's make Nat really mad. And just change her favorite scene and make it crappy. And the scene that didn't make me as mad, but a little mad, was the, like, her last fear landscape, whenever four was like forcing himself on her. That kind of rushed through as well and in the book it was really really cute like whenever she told him about it and in the movie it was like people weren't even watching like when she woke up in the chair people weren't even paying attention and Ford was just like okay let's go. It's like I thought this was her final examination why are people not watching this and like taking look at it and everything and then also whenever she was in the bottom rankings, it kept focusing on how she was in the bottom and she was in the red and she was in the red. And when she was first, it never even like showed. It was just like, oh, we're just going to mention it quickly in passing that Triss is in the top and not make a big deal out of it. And then it was weird at the end when all the erudite were at uh, the Dauntless like control room and everyone was just kind of watching Four and Triss fight. And I feel like that would have been really awkward. Like, why were they just watching them fight? Why didn't they just like kill them or kill one of them and be like, this is annoying. They're kind of ruining our simulation. <laughs> that was like, that was so, that was so weird. I, f I felt like that was just, that was slightly awkward. That part was weird. It was really cool when Tris freaking threw the knife at Janine's hand though. Oh, frick, that was awesome. The Ferris wheel scene was pretty good. Not as much emotion as in the book, but it was, it was still pretty good. And whenever like the, the footing, the step broke and Tris kind of fell and it had like the close up of Four's hand on her hip. <sighs> that was hot. That was good. <laughs> and it was funny how she kept going higher and he was just like, really? Really? <laughs> and the scene actually that I loved, 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 that they added that wasn't in the book, was when they, when Triss woke up after her fight with Peter and they said that she had gotten cut, which at first kind of made me mad, but then I loved the, what it turned into. And uh, they're like, oh, we're all going out for this game, but you've been cut, so you can't come. And then the train was leaving, and you see her coming like out of the tunnel, and she's just running for the train. That was that was awesome. I love that. That was fantastic. I'm so glad they added that in. It just was like a really good touch. I thought that was great. And I missed the, I missed the scene when they kissed for the first time because I had to pee. So bad, and I have never gone pee in a movie before. Nope, I'm not paying money to see a movie and then missing parts of it. Um, but I was gonna pee my pants, seriously. And then that scene when she's asking to see his tattoos, I had seen that already on the, on the internet when they showed it on YouTube or whatever. So I was like, okay, I have to go now, now's my only chance. And I booted it, and I went so fast. I didn't even dry my hands when I came back. But I missed the part that they, like, they stopped. Like, it just kind of stopped when it was online with them kissing. But then apparently she like pushed him away and said she didn't want to move too fast and he says it's okay I already have my spot reserved on the floor or something like that. My friend told me when I came back. But so I missed that part. But that's it. That's the only part I missed. And I'm seeing it again next week I think. And then I will probably like it even better the second time I see it. So um... I guess that's really all I have to say about it. Um... Just may like... I don't want to talk for like a million years and most people would probably have the same thoughts and the same things to say about it than I would anyway because all the people have read the book and the people have seen the movie and all that grand stuff. But I just really felt like talking about it. Um, overall it was a really good movie. I thought they did a really really good job. It was way better than I was expecting it to be and I think the fact that I wasn't expecting it to be good made me like it even more because I wasn't expecting much and it was great. It was a really great movie. Good job guys. Good job.